Cameron Diaz has finally spoken out about the rumors surrounding Jamie Foxx's behavior on the set of their film, Back in Action, which allegedly led her to quit acting for the second time. In an episode of Molly Sims' podcast, Lipstick on the Rim, Diaz expressed her frustration with the false claims made about their working relationship. Diaz vehemently denied the rumors that Fox made the set miserable, causing her to never want to make another movie again. She praised Fox, calling him the best and expressing her love for him as a person and his immense talent. According to Diaz, the reports couldn't have been further from the truth. While Diaz admitted that there were some hiccups on set, she clarified that they were just natural occurrences that happened during the filmmaking process. The only unexpected delay she mentioned was Fox's weeks-long hospitalization, which she stated was not her place to discuss. However, she assured listeners that Fox is now thriving. Diaz also defended Fox against those who try to bring him down, describing him as classy and someone who doesn't let the negative talk affect him. She emphasized that she hates seeing people trying to tarnish his reputation. Back in action marks Diaz's return to Hollywood after a hiatus since 2014, during which she focused on starting a family. This film is the third project in which Diaz and Fox have co-starred, having previously worked together on Any Given Sunday and Annie. While Fox has not directly addressed the rumored feud between him and Diaz, he briefly discussed a mystery illness that left him unable to walk. He has chosen not to disclose his diagnosis. During a recent acceptance speech, the individual vehemently denied being a clone and addressed the rumors surrounding their identity. I'm not a clone, I'm not a clone. I know a lot of people who were saying I was cloned out there, they stated, dismissing the speculation. Expressing gratitude towards everyone, they acknowledged the challenges they had faced, emphasizing that their experiences were not something they would wish upon even their worst enemy. Reflecting on the difficult journey, they described the feeling of nearing the end, comparing it to seeing a tunnel without perceiving the light at the end of it.